It was a special day at St Paul's. Paddington Bear was there. Today was the launch of the last ever book, Paddington at St Paul's, a tale of the usual mishaps and adventures, and it seems to have gone down well. What do we think about this new book then? I really like it because it, it's like it's got a lot of funny events. A lot of funny events? Mm. Is that because Paddington's quite funny then? Yeah. Michael Bond, Paddington's famous creator, finished the manuscript just before he died last year at the age of 91, and so ended a near 60-year relationship between the author and his famous bear. Often you'd be somewhere and he would start talking about Paddington being involved there, and you knew that something else was, was going on. He was easily inspired by Paddington then? Was, well, Paddington was so real to him that really uh, he was like another member of the family. So whenever he went anywhere or did anything, he was always uh, in his mind and he'd be thinking up ideas for, for a new story. And over the years, there's been a few surprises too. There was the time when the bear from deepest, darkest Peru took the Duchess of Cambridge for an impromptu spin. Then the time the famous marmalade-eating bear switched to Marmite, briefly. And it was here in Selfridges on a cold Christmas Eve in 1956 when Michael Bond popped in to warm up and saw a lonely teddy bear in the toy department. And he bought it and he gave it to my mother for Christmas. And uh, they were living near Paddington at the time and my father really wanted to be a writer. He was always looking for inspiration. And he remembered the name Paddington and he saw this bear sitting on the mantelpiece and he put the two things together one day. It was a simple moment that created a character that will live on forever. Jim Weeble, BBC London News.